Whoa. Welcome back, guys. This cube fired instantaneously. I didn't even have a chance to react. I was I was taken aback. And here we are. Welcome to another cube draft, legacy cube draft here on Magic Online. I'm your host, Frank. And I'm here with uh, Chat Mike. And I'm here with uh, Magic Online Mike. You get it. All right. I want this Scarab God. I think it's the strongest card in this pack. Frank, you want some loaded potato soup? I would if there's no bacon in it. Or if I'm able to easily remove the bacon. In that case, yes. However, I assume based on the obsession America has with bacon and the fact that it is a staple ingredient in loaded baked potato anything, there's probably bacon in there. That is my assumption. However, that being said, I appreciate the offer very much. Potato leek soup sounds friggin' delicious. All potato-based, like, potato-based bisques sound very, very good. I'm, I'm a fan of all of them. What do we got? A fatal push? We got a Kalitas. Curry with potatoes? That's that's also good. Thai, a lot of Thai curries have potatoes in them. Didn't you mention that yesterday? Kalitas? I think it's probably Kalitas here. I have some set made with that for my... Oh, yes! That's great! What a dad! What a dad! My partner and I bought some pork belly and are making our own bacon, hoping it turns out well. I imagine it will. I'm going to take Kalidus. Hopefully the Drowned Catacomb comes back. Oh, what are you doing to me, Magic Online? What are you doing to me? We can also take Maelstrom Pulse, and I bet this bad boy tables. Or we can take Nikki B. Let me talk to you guys for a second. Let's talk for a second. Let's talk seriously for a minute. I like Nickel Bullets less in this cube because there is fewer fixing, fewer fewer non-green ramp spells, let's say. This pack is actually pretty stacked. I like Nickel Bullets, I like uh, Mystic Snake, I like Maelstrom Pulse, and I like Worm Coil. Um, this commits us to red, this commits us to green, but I bet one of these will come back. I bet it's Mystic Snake. Spook it! I don't care about Wormcoil. I think it's a very replaceable creature. I'm going to take this and I'm going to assume the Mystic Snake comes back. That is my assumption. Pack Rat is pretty good, especially with Scarab God. I really wish there was a payway closer to me. The closest payway is like 30 minutes away. That's far. Yeah, it's got to be just pack right here. Wow, that's a bitter blossom. Could also be him to Torok. We might not play this, or we might not play this. Who knows? Wow, I think bitter blossom is probably better than him to Torok. Hmm. I'll take the Bitter Blossom. I think it's I think the long-term reward of a Bitter Blossom is better than the short-term uh potentially backbreaking gain of a him to Torox. So I'm gonna take Blooming Marsh. It's probably better than malicious malicious affliction. Maybe. So let's kill artifact creatures. I'm gonna value lands very highly here. I like a desecration demon. Okay, okay. Swords and Jith here now online cards. I agree with you. I think we are set up for those. I am going to take my Necrotal. I 
I mean, we're basically just mono black, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like, our third pick was the Maelstrom Pulse, right? It went, so it would be our 10th pick. Two picks before it, so our ninth, 10th, it might be 11th pick, I think. We get a full eight, and then our ninth, 10th would be our first and second, then our third pick, so 11th pick. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three picks from now. Sylvan Avocado. I like a Trigon Predator. Trigon Predator is actually pretty good. It gives us uh, some much needed way to deal with enchantments and artifacts. We could be Abzan and play Dromoka over Scarab God, but that doesn't seem ideal. I'm just thinking the Trigon Predator. Part the Water Veil. Ooh. Ooh. I think taking turns is very, very strong in cube. All right. One time Mystic Snaku. Don't do me dirty magic online. I'll take a worm coil engine too. Yeah, that's how you do it. And literal nothing. Blue, red, and white cards. I'll take a Ralz Eric. And literal red and white cards. I will take a Sublime Archangel because we've died to that thing before. Wow. All right, so white cards, white, wow, white, red, and blue cards are uh, pretty open. All right, so Maelstrom Pulse is looking better now. Garrick Wildspeaker, there's that Jitte. There's a Treachery. Ooh, I think Treachery's probably better than Jitte. Oh, God, but it's real close. Being able to go Treachery, steal your guy, untap, maybe part the Waterville on six or Scarab God on five is pretty good. How are you gonna cast the Mystic Snake? Erebus was the pick. How are you gonna talk? How are how are you gonna how are you gonna act? Is Jesse better than Treachery? I don't know. Hmm. I always like Treachery. I think Treachery's the pick. We didn't get Nicol Bolas, but we got your boy. We're taking Karn here. Hinterland Harbor is nice. Massacre Worm is nice. Phantasm is nice. Gear Hulk is pretty good. I think I want the fixing at this point because we have a lot of double black, double blue. So I would like to be able to... I don't think any of these cards are uh, really that much. These are all my favorite things. If Kodama's Reach or Shell Deck I'll come back, I will be grateful. If Shriek Maw comes back, I'll be grateful. Uh, sort of Fire and Ice with a Bitter Blossom and a Pack Rat is pretty good. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! Like, we also have Trigon Predator to kill an opposing Jitte if that's an option. We have Maelstrom Pulse. Like, we have a lot of, a lot of ways to deal with a Jitte. You're tearing, Lisa, Lisa, you're tearing me apart. Rampaging Bailoff boys. Oh, it looks like the old Bailoff boys are at it again. Eternal Witness is good. Oh, there's so many good cards in our deck to get back with an Eternal Witness. I think it's Eternal Witness here. Venser is great, but... We already have a lot of four drops. I'm going to take the Eternal Witness. 
It also wears a sword. My mama said I am ornery because I got all that ice cream and can't have none. Yeah, you're. I, yeah, your name is Matthew Ornery. Gear Hulk is your boy. I think Gear Hulk is uh, surprisingly underrated in this cube. There are a lot of color recommendation, color uh, restrictions in this deck. We got double black. We have blue green, blue. All of these are are they break they they break even, right? Like we have blue black, blue green, black green, double black, double black, double black, double blue, double blue, double blue, double green. We're gonna have to take all of the fixing lands that we see. Unless there's a Garrick Apex Predator or a Demon Lord Belzenlock in the pack, in which case we take one of those dudes. <laughs> I like Reflecting Pool a lot, though. I think Reflecting Pool is probably the pick. Oh, God. I hate passing a Garrick Apex Predator, though. We already have a Karn. I think we'll do fine without it. Ugh. This means that if we have any basic, we can cast whatever we want. It's just a try land most for the most part. This is a late Stoneforge Mystic and a late Leshnorn. Like, I don't think anyone in this cube uh, really has any respect. Oh god, I, I Juposhi's really mad now. Is it Chainer's Edict or Vampire Hexmage? I'm not a big I'm not a big Smuggler's Copter fan. Although we do have Bitter Blossom to crew it. I'm gonna take Chainer's Edict. I do like I do like Hexmage as Planeswalker removal, but um, the problem is it's double black, and I don't want to have double black on turn two. Whereas I can just play Chainer's Edict on turn two. Yeah, I'll take a little rest stronghold. All right, if that Woodland Foothills comes back, God damn, really? No Woodland Foothills, really? That's sad. I don't think Brainstorm is good at all. I don't think Tetsamok is good enough. What does Brainstorm do? You look at two cards, you look at three, you draw three cards, you put two cards back, and then you draw the next card. Then you then you just draw those two cards over the next two turns. Like, just doesn't really do anything. I mean, it's not like this isn't a format where you have a ton of fetch lands. Like, we don't actually have any fetch lands. We have no way to shuffle those cards back. Like, Card real estate in cube is so high. Like, you just have to do something. All of your cards have to do things, and I don't think Brainstorm does much. Yeah, Brainstorm is a, is a weird card because, like, historically, it's, it's, it's extremely strong. It's an extremely strong card, but in the cube, in this cube in particular, you're just like, all right, well, here's two cards. I guess I'll just draw them in two turns. All right, I have to take every fixing land in these packs, which is why there's none in this one. <laughs> oh God! Ancestral vision, maybe. Hmm. What are the odds of having a blue source on turn one? Whisperwood elementals not bad. I like Corsair of Crew Fix a lot. It's probably better than Glenland or Archmage. I don't want to have too many four drops, but I think. I think I like Corsair here just because it lets us get some free lands, which might be necessary. Yeah, I'm going to go with Corsair here. Watery Grave. Necessary. Nothing in this pack I'm really upset about passing. I like Arena. I like I like Riffling Cloudskate. I'd probably pick Riffling Cloudskate if I didn't pick the Watery Grave. All right, Hissing... Oh, nope, not Hissing Quagmire. Definitely Consecrated Sphinx. And this will probably table. I think we're at a point where that tables. I also do like Baleful Strix, but not gonna not gonna pass the Consecrated Sphinx, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Scavenging News is a fine addition. Yeah, buy 310 buy 30. What should I call you? Buy 31012. I, I feel like that's not an efficient thing to call you. I'll call you buy three. Does that work? Can I call it buy three? Ah, uh, Seer Missions is fine. 
I agree with you that like the uh, yeah the difference between legacy and commander is a legacy cube and commander is significant. Just buy. All right, I'll call you buy. There you go. All right, nailed it. Yeah, serum vision is fine. Uh, I will actually play a mana confluence in this deck 100% of the time. Mana confluence plus reflecting fool is. Uh, that is that is a combo. What life gain do we have right now? Just scavenging ooze and courser. Okay, that's not terrible. Double 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 <laughs> double. You can go over here because you're double blue. Oh, Kalidus is life gain too. Yeah, that's a good point. Which we can ba get back with Scarab God if need be. That says the amount of rainfall that will fall in North Carolina for me could fill more than 15 million Olympic size swimming. That's a lot. Why does Garrick Apex Predator go with Mana Confluence? Because you can cast it? Because that's pretty. <laughs> that's a good double song. Yeah, I appreciate it. Overgrown Tomb, I love a Grave Dad, but I love I love good mana better than a Grave Dad. I don't think that's true. I do love a Grave Dad more, but you guys will yell at me if I don't take the Overgrown Tomb. <sighs> eh, Ophiomancer's pretty good. Wow. Special Vision came back. Okay. Okay. Hissing Quagmire. I think it's in this pack. Come on, Quagmire. Giggity. Jibushi, what are you upset that I missed that time? Was it the Grave Dad pick? It was not easy. Grave Dad is too good to pass, except for when you can't cast him due to having... Yes! Alright, we have seven lands. That's actually very good. We also need one cut to our deck. To our beautiful, beautiful deck. I always want to initially cut Trigon Predator because I don't think there's that many artifacts and enchantments in the cube. That are really, really disconcerting. Um, I'll take the card I can play. Yeah, agree. Agree with that. You can left Grave Dad out in the cold with all his stinky little babies. Well, you know what they say. I, I, I don't know what they say. Come on, give me that last pick playable goodness. Give me that Grave Titan last pick. I have no idea if that's even how that would work. Look at all these white cards, man. Cut Mystic Snake? <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori. You're a you little scamp, you. I just got a call from like a number that's usually one of those like scam likely numbers. And it left the 13 second voicemail, so I went to check it, and it was just silence. Okay. Seems good. Alright, sort by Kalares. Yikes. Oh, Volrath Stronghold's not getting played. I this is not a we don't we don't need to be having no colorless lands on this deck. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go with eight here. Because we do want to see our vision or ancestral, and we have double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That seems like a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I can go nine here. We don't have any like one mana elves, right? So this is four, five, six, seven. This is eight, nine, nine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm in. I'm in it to win it. I always wonder what happens if I just pick up the phone. I'm like, hello? Oh, 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 I wasn't expecting the answer. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Stronghold is insane, you think? Maybe it is, but we also we already have Scarab God. Oh, where did that alright, let me take that guy out. I don't I just don't it's meh. We have Scarab God, Eternal Witness. We already have a bunch of things like that, and I really don't want to mess up this mana base by just adding more uh, a colorless land to my mana base. Like, that seems bad. Alright, so we got double black, double green here, which is perfect. I should be like, big fan of your TV show. Are you still teaching math now? I don't know. Uh, well, my day just got a lot more hectic. I have to drive an hour to pick my girlfriend up whose legs are giving out on her since she is handicapped and randomly that happens, so she needs me to drive. And her friend come with to go pick her up and drive. And oh, God, Axel, that's rough, dude. I hope she's okay. Oh, nice whiff. <laughs> He taught chemistry. What did I say? What did I say? Did I say math? What did I say? Tell me what I said. Swear to me. No, oh, that's a necrotickle. She got in an accident when she was younger, so her back is all jacked for most days. She's fine. Yeah, I know how that works. I had back surgery like eight years ago now. Uh, I was getting off a plane. I was in New York, got off a plane, and when I stood up on the on the when I they landed, I was I was home. I, I stood up and I was like, "Oh, that doesn't feel good at all." And um, went to the doctor, and they were like, "Well, at first they thought it was a muscle sprain," and I was like, "This doesn't feel muscular." And uh, I went to PT for a little while, physical therapy, and. I was like, this does not feel like it's improving anything. And I feel like it's almost getting worse. So what do we do? And then he's like, all right, I'm going to schedule for an MRI. And so I went to get an MRI and the results came back and they were like, wow, you look like you have the back of a 54 year old man, not a 24 year old man. And I was like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. And uh, no idea how it happened. No, there was no signs before that. And so I had to get back surgery. Lisa, Lisa, you're tearing me apart. They don't have anything, so I'm just going to Necrotal kill this guy. Then we can eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Are you gonna, what are you going to do? What are you doing? Nothing. Collected company? There's no collected company in this cube, which is interesting. There is potential for a court of calling, but well, that didn't work out. Yeah, I'll be more aggressive here. If you want to make a rat double block, that's fine. I killed two rats. Two rats with one stone. If you want to block here, that's fine. You lose another rat. Seems good. My red ankle's like that. I'll never get better, only worse. I'm only having another guy tell me from out. Yeah. Can you replace an ankle? Is there ankle replacement? Hmm. That's actually nice. Because now we have double blue. We're one away from casting Karn. And... Just throw everybody in the red zone. <laughs> don't even care. Long hair, don't care. 
You make another ratty. Ratty. Seems good. This is a lot of creatures we're uh, killing. And we have a lot of rats to show for it. I don't even think we need Eternal Witness in case they have like Damnation or something. Like they're pretty much just dead on board, right? Even if they make two rats, they block here, here, they take six. I'm okay with that. Did the surgery significantly help your back problems? Yeah, I have an, I, I, uh, I have no problems now. I have full mobility. <laughs> It was at a point where like I couldn't actually stand up or walk for more than five minutes without having to take a rest because there were nerves that were pinched and uh, there was literally like the vertebrae. There was no like usually vertebrae have gel between them like a like a like a liquid kind of like a like a jelly substance. Right. And there was nothing. It was just bone on bone. And it was not fun. But yeah, now I'm like. Just fine. It's where toothpaste comes from. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I'm going to keep this hand even though it's relatively slow. We have double blue and double black and green. So if we hit any blue land, we should have we should we should be made in the shade. The jelly goblin done ate your spine. Maybe that's true. All right, that's fine. Going Kalidus into Gear Hulk is also pretty brutal. Yeah, I gotta take Serum Visions, right? I'm way far away from casting this guy. Synovial Fluid? Is that what it's called? Synovial Fluid? That's hilarious if that's right. Oh, wow. Viscous non-Newtonian non fluid found in the cavities of synovial joints with its egg white-like consistency. The principal role of synovial fluid is to reduce friction between an, art an articular cartilage of synovial joints during movement. Hmm. Well, I'll be a butter my biscuit. Eh. Look at this guy getting in there. Now they're going to play Pack Rat. That's not a Pack Rat. Now they're going to play Pack Rat. They didn't play Pack Rat. Ooh. Sweetie, sweetie. Sweetie McSweeterton's. Next time we get to go Kalidus into Virgil's Gearhawk. Also, if we draw a blue, we can go Kalidus into Treachery into Virgil's Gearhawk on the same turn, boy. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we should play the green there because now we can't do the plan. If we play this, one science buck, then we don't have double black, double blue for treachery. I guess we could draw Hinterland Harbor. But, uh, yeah, we've limited our options, unfortunately. And we still have to draw blue, but it's possible. Wow, that's sad. You're a real mean person. Jester Pooh, is that our six month anniversary? Oh, they didn't attack with Mystic. Are they giving me my uh, Serum Visions back? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Jester Poo, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Huh. What do you got here? Kitchen Finks? It's always Kitchen Finks in the Birthing Pod deck. Well, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. You getting the Kite Sail Freebooter back? Okay. I think we're just going to see our visions here. I don't mind if we can't play. No, that's good. I want to bottom both of these.
This seems fine. Oh, they got the dismember back. Okay, that seems fine. I thought they got the kite sail freebooter back. You're gonna dismember this and pay four? That's. I mean, like that's kind of what I wanted to happen because we have scarab gone. That's real interesting. I mean, birthing pod's gonna give you some value here, but if we draw a blue source, which is what we're trying to do with this, then we get to just take whatever, like whatever big thing you get, and kind of reset your train. Grave Titan. Oh boy, treachery one time. Blue, 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 I guess we'll put you both on the bottom. <clears throat> I mean, they only have two cards in hand, which is nice. Huh. Uh, okay. Stroke is incoming. Oh god. Oh god. Someone call the police. Call the police. Oh, fuck. Crying out loud. Oh! Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna take four more to kill this? Oof. Boy, I'd really like a second blue source. You see how the, you see how our mana base is killing us now? This is why we took the lands we did, guys. So the next turn they just go recurring nightmare, sack worm coil to get kite sail freebooter, take whatever they want. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. This is not a reasonable series of plays. Oh Christ. Recurring nightmare. This is a hell of a drug. I didn't even know I hit into the Royal Indo deck. That's kind of funny. Oh, keep. Snap keep. Dismember again. <laughs> oh. Sure. Well, in two turns, we will 100% be able to play a Scarab Man, I bet. Sure, don't care about that. Turn three, Elvish Mystic is pretty unexciting. Mana Confluence is pretty exciting, though. Kalidus. Treachery. Alright, this is setting up to be a good turn next turn. We can Treachery and then Scarab God. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, this is all fine. They didn't even play anything good, though. I don't even want a Treachery here. It's really sad.
Yikes. Yikes. I'm going to play this guy, and if they want to dismember it, then I'll just get it back. They didn't. Worm coil? Grave, Dad! It's your grave, Daddy. Grave, Daddy. Can you dig my grave? Can you make it, Daddy? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, also the zombie triggers? Oh, boy. Guys, I want you to know what it feels like living in Value Town. As a content creator and professional magic player for over a thousand years, I'd like you to know what it feels like. <clears throat> it's your grave, Daddy. Sure. How come it's a giant, not a giant zombie? This guy is definitely dead. I will draw some crads. One, two, so we're going to have seven mana. We can go Necrotal, Ophiomancer, or Kalidus Ophiomancer. Sure, that's fine. So we can just attack with everything, and like your blocks are pretty terrible. Like, if you block here, then we can literally just uh, Scarab God one of them. Oh, God. Scarab God seems insane against your recurring nightmare nonsense. So, basically, I want to just play Ophiomancer here. Because I want to keep up Scarab God. Even if it just means getting a, a scavenging ooze, like... Yep, draw two more. And we have Mystic Snake that we can hit. And we have Karn next turn. That's pretty good. Yep, Thrag Dad. All these cards are just great. All these cards I just want to go to the graveyard. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm in three. Thank you so much. Glad, uh, glad you could catch a stream again. pretty good that's pretty good zombie bones connected to the neck bone oh i guess we could have oozed the zombie or we could have yeah we could have done that i don't, I don't know why we didn't actually and we're just gonna pass with mystic snake up one two three four five six seven eight. and and uh do we have a reason not to? No. Especially when we're playing a a Mystic Snake this turn. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> I am not impressed by y'all wizardry, you see. Huh. Well then. Yeah, they're going to gain life one way or the other. We just saw them put a Fatal Push in their hand, so I don't know why we did this. But, like, we're just going to Mystic Snake it, right? So they gained six. We lost a bunch of Zombones. Totally fine. Wait till the end step in case they have like recurring nightmare in hand, which they do. Sure. It's 
targeting worm coil. Steal your worm coil. And that'll do. Yep, they just had to see it happen, I guess. <laughs> Never getting that back. All right. I don't have to play Into the Royal. I didn't think Into the Royal was in the deck, actually. Eh, it's still fine. I will play first. Oh, is this a turn three Ashiok? Keep. Snap keep on any turn three Ashiok that exists in, in nature. They have two turns to play a creature. Maybe we'll play a guy on turn one. We'll draw Chainer's Edict. Okay, no guy. No guy. This could be very, very good. I'm a... Uh... Don't... No guy. <gasps> Oh man, Ashiok with no dudes on board. Game two. Lightning strike Ashiok, okay. Two for one, I'm okay with it. How about a 6-6? Six, six? Ashiok died. Random question because it's the first extra stream I've watched on Twitch. When it says resub times 6, does that mean it's been 6 months or that you've been subscribing for the next? Uh, that's a 6 month resub. That means that this is the 6 month they have res that they have resubscribed. Chainer's Edict Reflecting Pool is a pretty good combination. Or, uh, ch not Chainer's Edict, Reflecting Pool of Mana Confluence. Hello! Nailed it. And the game is over. Thanks to Desecration Demon, Corsair of Crew Fix, Bitter Blossom on top, and a... They left the game so we can go draw, and we would have hit this. We could have played off the top, played Consecrated Sphinx. And just went a little bit deeper. I'm getting real excited about this deck. Resubbing is a monthly thing. It's not like Spotify. Yes, that's true. Yeah, it's, it's it's once per month. You can't... I don't think you can subscribe for a year at a time. I'm going to keep this because any blue lets us play Ashiok. Any green lets us play Corsair. So. We're also on the draw. They went to six. Everything's looking, looking up. It's going to be a Watery Grave on the top, followed by a Hissing Quagmire. That'll do, pig. Fascinating. I'm going to play this because if they play a guy, we might want to play Corsair if we draw a Plains or a Forest, rather. If we play Ashiok, hopefully he's safe. They do have a Gideon Jura or Gideon Ally of Zendikar, which would be pretty bad here. I'm not a fan of Gideon Ally of Zendikar, but they didn't add. Okay. That's actually fine. They're probably just going to add. Bye, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Oh, Josh, thank you so much for the for the donated sub, buddy. Okay, so get rewarded. So 
So next time we can actually play Mystic Snake, which is pretty sweet. Man, Josh, you are uh, you're the hero that we need. Fairgrounds Warden again? Okay. Well, we know we're not drawing a black, which is unfortunate, but... Can't activate Ashiok. I guess we'll just pass until Mystic Snake comes down, and then we'll trade with the Revoker. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care about a Mind Stone. Maelstrom Pulse! I was actually reluctant to take my shields down and use my removal spell on this guy, but now that we have a Maelstrom Pulse on top, I'm okay with it. It kills anything, you know. Don't play a Sun Titan. Oh my god, how many warm coals do we have to deal with? Virtuous Gear Hulk, eh? I mean, I almost feel like it's Maelstrom Pulse time, but... They have two cards in hand. I like Kalidus here because we can block with Necrotol. Get a zombie. Um, seems fine. We'll have Necrotol in the graveyard for things like, uh, you know... Virgil's Gear on Kalidus is also pretty big. Pretty big game. They only have two cards in hand. Well, there's one of them. Well, probably just going to take six here. I don't really foresee us just blocking for the sake of blocking. Especially when we have Virgil's Gear Hulk on the top. One card left. Sure. No, we're definitely pulsing that. Hmm. Did you tell your thoughts on Assassin's Trophy? Wow. I mean, we went over it in the chat a bunch, and I also put a 15-minute podcast up on Patreon, so... Yes, the answer is yes, I did. Also, if we had a six land, it's... If we had a six land at any point, we missed two land drops. Um, I think this game is a completely different when we get to part the water veil and, and do things. Hmm... So no cards in hand. We're just going to actually Virtuous Gear Hulk here. We'll put one, two, three, two on this guy so it can trade easily with the Worm Coil. And if she wa if they want a negative Elspeth, both of our guys, both of these guys survive. So, cool. All right, so that means their one card didn't do anything if they're going to sacrifice that that quickly. Also, Brian, no worries at all about taking me away from game focus. That is, uh... <sighs> Must be nice. If we block here and here, we take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Cool. Literally had one card to draw. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Bring in the Trigon Predator because you seem to have a bunch of stupid idiots. Uh, no offense. Or offense. I don't care.
I'm not a big Tetsamok fan. Like, you, you can only use his ability as a sorcery, so, like, you'd have to waste a turn putting a bunch of counters on things, then you actually play him, and you're like, oh, well. This hand's actually pretty miserable. This hand's good. Wow, this hand's great, actually. I will keep this. Yeah, that seems fine. Here we go. I mean, they didn't see many. They didn't see many artifacts from us, right? So, I can't imagine they brought something in for Sword of Fire and Ice. Lightning Strike, the Bitter Blossom token. The value is already real. That's great. I feel like we keep both of these. Uh, we're going to have five mana next turn, so we can put you on top, put you on top. Well, it's Fairy Rogue Online. Oh, we just got to kill your your guys. That's pretty cool. Sack this? Yep. <laughs> Seems good. All right. Well. I mean, like, we want to just get this guy off the board, really. We also have Eternal Witness to get it back, so... Sure. Trigon Predator kills that thing. Wow, Trigon Predator is being like uh, friggin' OP right now. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. See, if they have an Elspeth, though, like, so here's the thing. We have to either play around Elspeth or... I'm not sure. <sighs> I wish we knew it was in their hand. Because, like, okay, so if they have Elspeth, they can go neg four and kill this. I guess that's fine. Whereas otherwise it plays around things like uh, Firebolt, double Firebolt. So we're really just playing around Elspeth here. And they can also have Oust, but that doesn't like that's gonna do it either way. Um, I think it's worth sacrificing one token for four life, especially when we have a Bitter Blossom in play. Elspeth. Lucky, 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 lucky,
Uh, 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 uh. So I can go activate this one, two, three, four. They're one shy of activating either of these and equipping. One shy for this, two shy for this. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Don't play land. Oh wow. We just get to seriously just eat that. Oh my god. <laughs> guys. Guys, listen, guys. Yep, that'll do. All right. That was the match? Oh, wow. I thought that was game two. I thought we... Uh, wow. Wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. I guess our deck is fine. Yeah, no, I definitely, I did a whole podcast about the uh, Wild Assassin's Trophy. Oh, we're keeping this for sure. Any one land. Any land you want to give me. Uh-oh. Oh, this is how we died. No, I'll just discard a worm coil and a gristle brand. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Unbarrel rights of Leshnorn. Holy Jesus. I guess that's fine. I mean, if Unbarrel rights is your way to go. Those were in your hand, too. It's not like you gifts ungiven for these two. You just put them in the graveyard. Necrothal does kill in Leshnorn, though, so. Okay. We have lots of answers. If we can draw one land, we have literal four cards to play. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No pressure? No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Land, 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 Will it happen, will it happen, will it happen, will it happen, will it happen. We willed it. We did it. And it's a green. No counter, no counter, no counter, no counter. Oh my god, everything is going... That went perfectly. They had no pressure. We got a land we wanted. Now I see. It's always Gristlebrand. <laughs> Well, they can't reanimate it this turn, so they're probably just going to go untap on Burger Rights Gristle Brand. Which is fine. We have Maelstrom Pulse. It's not ideal, but... Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Also, if they want to draw seven when you have Ashiok out, like, okay. Yep. That is a dude. That is one bad Larry. Do you draw first? No. No force spike, I guess. Nope, he dead. <laughs> All right, see you later. Peace out. 
See you later, Peanut. I do need another land. <laughs> Cheshire Pratt. <laughs> His name is Frank, by the way, guys. Oh, they didn't do anything? No, we gotta land. Glenelander Archmage is pretty good. I want to play this now because if they have like an instant speed removal spell, I really don't want to have to deal with it. Or instant speed reanimation spell. Which they have, maybe? Counter? Cryptic Command? Dismiss? Sure. <sighs> well, he actually can't kill Ashiok here, which is nice. Beer Man Man, what's going on, buddy? Sure. Now you can kill Ashiok. Good for you. Good for you. Go ahead. You can take what you want to. You can put that card away. And you gotta kind of put it in the trash can. I wish I had Fatal Push in my hand. Do -do -do -do. This is rough. Bug list is getting low. I'm feeling it. I like it. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. The times assholes have four spike in this cube is mind-blowing to me. That's super frustrating. Like, we hit zero creatures off of our Ashiok. Literal zero creatures. We hit one Glenelinger Archmage after one, two, three activate, four activations. Three activations. Like, it's just really frustrating. Yep. Like, whatever we play, they make a sacrifice. Sure. Cool. We, we, it's the turn seven. We've drawn four lands, so. All right. I actually like Tetsamok here because we can reveal it. Uh, to kill their whatever they target with makeshift mannequin, so it's just kind of like a. And Trigon Predator also seems good. Into the Royal seems good here. Necrotel seems pretty rough. I will play first. Ugh, I'm gonna keep this just because of the bitter blossom. Um, and if we draw any like blue or bl or green land, it's it, reflecting pool is just great. I mean, they also went turn one careful study into 
unbarrow writes Aleshnorn, which is pretty stupid. Of course. Yep. Never fails. We have Chainer's Edict, I guess, but still, like, they get to draw seven if they if it's a Gristle Brand, which it's always a Gristle Brand. Emrakul. This is also target player, so they can actually just cast this when they take our turn, which is pretty stupid. I guess they're not casting it, though, right? Yeah, that seems fine. All right. I'm okay with all of that, surprisingly. <laughs> that was uh, surprisingly okay. Sure. Any non-black land. I'll take it. You're at six? No, we gotta go after Liliana. Yep. They do have Forbid, but they don't have double blue here. Did you see the Ulamog? This time it was an Ulamog. Well, that's fancy. Fifth land would be nice, but instead... Sure. That seems completely reasonable. Yep. Keep on rolling. Still no double black, but they could, or still double blue, but they still could have four spike, which is pretty annoying. Uh, yeah, that's pretty game winning. <laughs> okay, let's watch this. Let's watch this magic in action. That's why we put the Tetsamok in here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Literal hard counter for a for an Emrakul. Or for a makeshift mannequin. Oh man, that was good stuff. Yeah, we're also keeping this green up. Sure. Reanimate is instant. Sorcery. Exhume is a sorcery. Yeah. Uh, they could necromancy, but I don't think that's great. Yeah, I'm just going to eat that. One got him, Buck. Steven, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it.
reluctant to play that when I don't have to. Yeah, we're just not going to run it. We don't have any reason to run into a uh, to run into a force spike here. We can just keep double green up for scavenging ooze. Sure. This is not a thing I'm terribly concerned with. We're also going to draw three cards next turn. Random question, what's the story behind the Pigums as subscriber badges? That's a long story. Um, uh, so a long time ago, uh, Mia and Yoakum, uh, were two of my big fans. Yoakum is, uh, Mia's dad and Mia is, well, she was around seven or eight at the time. And they were big fans of my content. And, uh, I would, I, I knew them. I, I got to know them through the stream and through my videos and stuff. And, um, Mia was a big fan of when I said, like, when Flint Hoof 4 was legal and standard, I would say, uh, pig, 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 whenever I would, would see one or play one. Um, and people used to love it. They would, it would just crack people up. And uh, Mia, it was one of her favorite things ever. So she actually got me a Minecraft pig as a gift one time. And um, so I still, like... I still have that to this day, and uh, I just made it the the subscriber badge because I thought she'd think it was cute. And uh, Mia's like 13, 14 now. It's like it's it's pretty crazy, but she's one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, Yokum and and um, uh, put two cards into their graveyard. I will put Metamorph and Venser into your graveyard. You can have Island and Exhum. Uh, Yokum just doesn't play as much Magic anymore. So, but he's still subscribed to me. So, I mean, like, he's just like the guy who supports you forever. He's just a, he's just the nicest dude. I love Yoakum. Like, and I've, I've gone to visit me and Yoakum at their house. I've gone to, um, yeah, sure. Uh, they've come to visit us when we were in Seattle. They stayed with us for a while and we spent like a week together. And like, we, you know, I've had a lot of really, really good experience with the, me and Yoakum. Um... Okay, we'll take the Aleshnorn, because that's obviously very scary. And we'll probably take Shieldred. So what do you get, like a Venser? Yeah, okay, like, did you not expect me to do that, or? <laughs> All right, well, that was good. That was pretty good, yeah. We have one, two... One, two, three. I think we actually want another green instead of a swamp, right? So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green, which is important because we have double green, double green, double green, green, double green. And we took out some of the double blacks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's fine. Yikes, this hand is pretty bad. It's got all our colors and a Trigon Predator. I don't know if that's good. It's probably not very good. This hand is really, this hand is actually worse. I'm gonna keep it because any green land gives us scavenging news, I guess. Oh God. The rare moment where I bought him an Ashiok on turn zero. If we can just hit lands, I think we're great, but. Yep, Mystic Snake is not lands. I'm pretty sure this is how the 2-1 uh, the goes for us, unfortunately. Here we go. I'm going to discard Virtuous Gear Hulk in case they want to, like, reanimate it somehow. Yep, of course we don't hit a third land. Why would we? Why would we hit that? 
Oh, it's 1-1 one, one in the third round when you're 2-0. Oh. Of course you're not going to play a fair game of Magic where skill is involved. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? This is where the guys in the YouTube comments are like, I just got to get all salty when he plays Magic the Gathering. I don't understand. You'd think he'd learn to take variants a little better. I think he'd learn to shut up a little better. Got him. Metamorph, sure. Okay, well, we had a good first two games, I think. Uh, well, we had a good second game. The first game was kind of a ridiculousness. But, uh, yeah, now we get to sit here and uh, watch our opponent do degenerate things in the Legacy Cube. Oh, there's no way I'm answering who the best mod in the chat is. Like, that's... There's there's no way that's some not something that's like who's your favorite who's your favorite chat viewer I, I mean like never happening definitely don't deserve it Josh you totally deserve it so like I definitely equate support like if you're gonna support me a ton like gifting subs Patreon uh, being a subscriber if you're gonna support me a ton it 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 literally translates to you having my best interest in mind. And that's completely on par with having a mod sword, 100%. It's not necessarily buying it, right? It's it's the fact that you are doing things that look out for me, that support me. And if that's where you're coming from, if that's the place you're coming from, then it makes total sense that you would have a mod sword, right? Shut up and take my money. One buck from your favorite viewer. <laughs> oh, well then. So what if I just take Necromancy and Exhume in the graveyard? Put two cards into the graveyard. Exhume and Necromancy, sure. Now you have TS and Gristle. Yeah, I just realized now that Zaxor didn't have one, and I was like, that doesn't feel right. I literally just realized that when he said we're all his little cutie, I was like, wow, Zaxor's not a mod? That's interesting. Sure. Like, unfortunately, there's nothing we can draw here that that actually... Oh, wow. Fashion related to the party, I see. Well... I mean, they can go attack us for seven, we draw land. They attack us for seven, we draw land, we play treachery, right? They have one card, it's not possible. I'm pretty sure Frank dislikes me, but at least that doesn't hate. I, what, Treasure Pratt, I have no problem with you, buddy. No problem at all. See, weirdly enough, there are people who are in the chat a ton, and it always surprises me that they're not subscribers or not, uh, yeah, subscribers. Like, Cheshire Pratt's someone who's here all the time, and I'm always like, oh, I could have sworn you were a subscriber. But, oh, I, I was like, I was made a big shit about them having one card in hand, but then I forgot Gristlebrand is the thing, so. Yeah, that's that's cool. Gristlebrand's a fair and interactive magic card. <laughs> Oh, let's discard another card. Uh, Kalidus, Traitor of Get. Traitor of Get in my graveyard, if you know what I'm saying. 11, I'm a little hurt, but you, but now you are stuck with it. Why are you hurt? You can't be hurt at the moment I give you the, the mod sword. I chose this one. Oh, I guess I have to hit okay. Okay. Well, you don't know what I did. <laughs> I guess I don't, what did you do? Did you do something? Yeah, cool. All right. Oh, this deck did surprisingly well despite that last round. Even the last round we took to game three. So what can you do? Thank you guys so much for, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Both the links are in the description. Even if you watch a ton on YouTube and can't make the streams, it definitely still helps if you sub. I mean, I know that sounds like a weird ask, but like, you know, it's, it's a way to subscribe to me and support the content. And you're still getting to see it because I do post most of it on YouTube. So either way, hit me up on Patreon as well. A dollar a month is another option. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it.
No beats gifted here at the Cheshire Pratt. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.